Hello hello hello, Zap Player with you, and in today's video I am trying to show you how to gain a lot of honey a day. Everything is simple, just watch the entire video. Make sure to subscribe and like too. Let's go guys. In this game the support means a lot for you. When I say a lot it means 3 times better. Before showing you the most important thing, I want to tell you my story. My bee swarm simulator story is not that simple. I was supposed to do it all on my own. I didn't know many friends. I was doing it all by myself. Grinding honey, items, quest all by my own. So all I am trying to say is that a friend means a lot. When I say friend it means an advanced player. A player that have the supreme saturator. Is that supreme saturator OP? Just to make you smile, yes. The Supreme Saturator helps a lot in growing the flowers up, faster and better. When I saw that big change to my pollen bar, I helped my second account with the PR01, to let you know, in just about 1 or 2 months of playing Bee Swarm Simulator I got PR01 with 45 bees, almost end game equipment. Comparing my first account that I've grown it in like 1 year. That's a lot, that's a lot. So, that is what I am telling you, just collaborate with your friend, help you collar and move forward. I've learned a lot from this game. How to make honey fast, how to buy items in what order, what color is decent for a decent progress. We turn back at our thing. To make honey fast, all you need to have is 1. Supreme Saturator 2. Some Fuzzy Bees 3. A purple potion that helps you with the winds donate it when you have to boost somewhere for a decent mixed hive or better color hive. 5. Do not waste the following items on the semi boosts, stingers, super smoothie or eggs. 6. By wasting eggs on non honey day boosts it means a waste. 7. Defeat the wild windy bee every time you have to boost you must own 10 clouds vials for that boost. Donating 3 star jelly to the wind shrine or 5 field dices it has a higher chance to spawn 8, by having a friend with a gummy mask it will result to a bigger amount of honey. 9. I recommend you as a mixed hive to buy and use the honey mask or much better the gummy one. 10. Try to make the goo badge to receive the grandmaster 10 honey per pollen. 11. The badges helps a lot with your boosts, they are essential. 12. Prepare yourself with a lot of gumdrops and jelly beans you need at least 1000 gumdrops and around 25 jelly beans. 13. Do not start to transform your hive into a color if you didn't own the other items or SSA. 14. The meteor shower helps a lot with the boosts, just use every field booster as the red booster, blue and mountain one. 15. The most important thing, the nectars. The nectars helps a lot in every boost by having the perfect nectar for your hive color even if it's mixed. These were some of my advices when you try to do a boost. Grind on the higher fields as a mid game. The fields with the bigger flowers. Check every code that can help you. The mountain field can boost you a lot as a mid game just because it's mixed field. There you can boost with your friends. But, be careful, it's lagging low. Hide other bees and you will be okay. Hide pollen text for a better experience. Check your amulets and try to advance them all. I do not have any words, I cannot help you much more than I can. If I could help you more, I would be on the first place in the world. Just an advice. Being solo it means to suffer. It means to do it all by your own, to defeat every obstacle. I answered with those words cause people is asking everything how to make honey faster. There's no other ways to make it faster. Just make sure that you do the right thing and you will be okay. A playtime game can't be speed ruined. That's all I had to say. Make sure to hit that like and the subscribe button. Thank you. Until next time.